We must clear this border post to allow our troops to pass through. If we get rid of the commanding officer, the rest will not be able to offer any resistance. First, we have to eliminate these two without making any noise. I can climb up to the wires and swing along them to cross to the other side. I see a box. We'll probably find some interesting stuff in there. If you get the metal shears, bring them here and I'll cut through that fence and deactivate the mines. Okay, training camp one. So we start off with two characters. We start off with Sapa, who is the explosives expert, and we start off with the thief, who is the uh, small guy that can pick locks and climb things and generally do lots of cool stuff. So um, we start off with Sapa, and we need to get rid of these two guys, the two guys with the rifles. So the green area that you can see over here, that's what that other guy can see. The uh, light green yeah, he can see you if you're standing or lying down, and the dark green, he can only see you if you're standing. So I've knocked out that guy, tied him up, I'm now going to take his cigarettes and throw them over here so that this guy will see them and head over there and then I will knock him out as well. I love how narrow their field of view is, it makes this much easier. They seem to all be wearing very tight helmets. They all love cigarettes, these guys. They've all got serious smoking problems. Alright, so... We've now got these two, uh, these two sorted out. So there is another guy just lying in wait over here, just minding his own business. Okay. Now those those ripples around me, those are sound waves. So if I if I run too close to one of them, they can actually hear me. So I need to keep my distance when I'm running. Uh, yeah, the physics of this game means that you've got to get pretty close for them to hear you. But yeah, they can still hear you, which is something that I don't think they could do in the earlier games. So. That was kind of like a newer thing that they added for this second one. Alright, so there's the mechanic, down he goes. And the thief, I'm now going to send over the pole. Sapa can just take this guy's uniform as well. And the thief is now going to swing along the wire and get down to the other side. He's heading for that metal box over there, which in the briefing we were told about. So. Thief is the only guy that can open metal boxes. Everyone can look in a wooden box, but the thief is the only one that can look in the these metal ones because he's got the lock pick. I think he's a cool character. Right, so we're going to pick that, and then we're going to look inside and find some goodies. There we go, and it looks like we've got some wire cutters and some grenades. Thank you very much. So we are now going to climb back over and give those to the sapper. Uh, the sapper's got his mine detector already, but he, what he doesn't have is the wire cutters to cut through. Where are you, buddy? Alright, so Thief is going to come over the, uh, the wires. We're going to give him the grenades and the wire cutters. It's a great little level, this. It was a great, great opening tutorial, I think, for this game. Just to work out how to play it. I remember playing this in 2002 when it first, or 2001 when it first came out, and it was, it was really, really great. Okay, so uh, we are going to give wire cutters and grenades to Sapper. We can basically now do the rest with the Sapper. The thief can go and hide over here. And Sapper can cut through here and now use his mine detector. In fact, there's one already. You've got to be quite careful with these because they appear out of absolutely nowhere right in front of you. And he does kind of just walk onto them if you're not careful. So. They kind of appear in your in your immediate area, but you do have to get very close to them. There we go, that's enough of those to um, to have completed the level. And now I'm going to head round here, and we might as well knock out this guy and tie him up as well. I don't think he can be seen by that guy. No, he can't. That's great. So I'm going to knock out this guy. Might as well take his machine gun and his uniform. Actually, yeah, what am I doing? I can be walking around in a uniform and not be worrying, hiding in plain sight. Okay, now there's these four guys here, but I do actually have grenades, so I might as well use one of those to get rid of all of them, and then that should trigger the end of the level, because that was my objective, and that is Training Camp 1.